So we are gonna hunt some dinosaurs. Gonna hunt some dinosaurs. Okay, here we go. Okay. I'm glad to finally have you out here, Dr. Harding. Despite the circumstances. We've been doing some very interesting work with our parasaurs. Behavioral communication experiments. You've interpreted their calls? Some of them. And I plan to use that to get them out of the pen. Out? Well, I'm not going to treat their water with them still in there. How do we know there aren't any bad dinosaurs around? Well, believe it or not, the dinosaurs told me. See I that did. One? She's the lookout. She'll stand guard while the others graze. If there were any predators in the vicinity, she'd be nervous and emitting a danger call. But she's not. She's calm. Jerry, you can activate the speakers from there. Jess and I will set the various parasaur sounds that play through them. Hi, Trico! Dad. Hey, little T. It's okay. I mean, it's safe, right? The Parasaurs will warn us of trouble before it gets close. Stay with Dr. Sorkin. Okay, guys. We were going to play Skyrim until I died in the game crash. Okay, here we go. So, what do we do? We can't just shoo the animals out, but we should be able to manipulate them into moving using their own sounds. Cool. These speakers on the west side of the pen can be set to play a parasaur food call that will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the east control the mating sounds that will attract the more uh, amorous dinosaur. What about the big set of speakers in the middle of the pen? Ah, those emit the danger call. The parasaurs will instinctively move away from it. So basically, we can herd the dinosaurs out of this pen using the speakers and their sounds. Okay, so, um... We need to get them there. Maybe press this. Botan. How do I turn on the speakers? I'll have to tell your dad to do it when we're ready. Oh, well, I'm ready. Uh... If we want to move the dinosaurs forward, we might need to give them a good scare from behind. Oh, we can use the danger call. Good thinking. Okay, so I guess we're gonna use the danger call. But I don't know. Ah, poop nugs. Well, we're gonna tell them to activate the speaker. Dr. Harding? Yeah? Uh, danger speakers. Activate the danger speakers. I'm doing good, Trico. <laughs> so are they supposed to do that? Their thing there? Oh my gosh, why are they going back? <sighs> Well, this is frustrating. Um, How come that one never moved? That one stands guard to make sure all the others are safe. Even when there's a danger call? The lookout's the one that makes the danger call. When there are predators around, she'll stand her ground, drawing attention away from the other dinos. Um... Dr. Activate. Harding? Yeah? Activate the reading food seeker. West side speakers, please. This is really... <laughs> Dr. Harding? Yeah? I need you to activate the east side speakers, please. East side, okay. <laughs> Do you 
think they'll really turn this place into a nature preserve after this? Like Mr. Yoder said, that guy was lying through his teeth regarding the board. But it did give me a thought. This is a huge setback for InGen. Maybe Hammond's role as CEO isn't as safe as he thinks. How are you, Trico? So I'm confused on what I am supposed to do. Does anyone know what I'm supposed to do in chat right now? Dr. Harding? Yeah? Blah, 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 blah. Dr. Harding? Yeah? Uh, well, I said to do something with Activate the danger speakers. Activate the danger speaker. speakers. supposed to do is there anything I'm supposed to do maybe click that I don't know I think I have to get them out of the cage thing okay that's easy I don't know how to though well the eggs it's right <laughs> maybe we gotta move them out of the eating place in the bobber maybe move them to the west I don't I don't know what I'm doing anymore Dr. Harding? Yeah? Activate the west. West side speakers, please. But they're already at the west. What the heck? <sighs> then maybe I gotta do east? <laughs> maybe? Dr. Harding? Yeah? East side speakers again. And then do Dr. Harding? Yeah. Center uh center center center. Activate the danger know. speakers. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Well thank you, you two. This is something to do with YouTube, apparently. So. Guys, I'm just figuring out what to do if you guys just came here. So, one second.
Dr. Harding? Yeah? East side speakers again. So, what happened to your assistant? Let's not talk about that right now. Well, did you work with him long? It doesn't matter. Oh. Listen, he was a wonderful young man. And I am sad. I really am. But if I let that stop my work, then all these animals will die too, trapped behind the walls that we built. You understand? Dr. Harding? Yeah? West side speakers, please. So I heard you were like a hippie protester or something in the 70s. Where'd you hear that? From Yoder. The 70s were a tumultuous time. I fought for what I believed in, and sometimes it gets you arrested. You were arrested? And you still got a job as a, you know, scientist? Paleogeneticist. And yes, youth is the time to be reckless and test your boundaries. It's how you learn what's important to you. Dr. Harding? Yeah? Activate the danger speakers. That's it. They're out. Yeah, I did it, guys. Well, finally. Thanks to you two. Don't multiply. Be good at So, how you guys been? Maybe you'll be a behavioral scientist someday. Maybe I will. So, how you guys been? Ah, this is why she was elected to be the lookout. What's wrong with her foot? It's a broken toe. Feel free to have a look. I just have to do one more thing and then we can leave. Lysine. If the dinosaurs have a fighting chance, they'll need the solution to survive. I'm still not sure. Jerry, so... this is my life's work. These are basically my children. I'm not gonna let these creatures die because some bureaucrat can't stand losing control. They deserve their own lives. Just... So this is a really good game so far. So... Dr. Sorkin? Laura. Um, Laura, what's lysine? Ingen, Henry Wu added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. Don't tell my dad, but I got a D in chemistry. Then today should be very educational. The solution we were creating at the lab will reverse this scenario, allowing the animals to live out their natural lifespan. We just need to get it into the main water supply. Okay, that should be easy, right? This is a big responsibility, Jess. I can handle it, Dr. Sorkin. I mean, Laura. <laughs> okay, Jess, let's get started. So, she's basically gonna do something with the water? I'm telling you, man, almost made me swear off Chinese food forever. Yeah, right. I've never seen you refuse an egg roll. Ever. I said almost. Besides, my date was hot. You remember? The girl with the blonde hair, uh, red scarf, uh, what, what was her name? I don't keep track. Oh, you remember her. She was the one that was wearing the... Hold on. You hear that? Go, go, go! 